Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. How many of you are happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Just give the Lord a wave offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah. You are great. You are mighty. Hallelujah. All power belongs to you, Lord Jesus. All glory belongs to you, Lord Jesus. We thank you this morning, Lord, for life, health, and strength. We thank you, Lord God, that even through your joy, Lord God, we can receive strength this morning, Lord God. Hallelujah. By your mighty power, we continue to live and walk in faith, heal. Hallelujah. Delivered and set free. And for this, we won't stop to give you the praise, hallelujah, the glory, and the honor that you so deserve. And Father, on this morning, Lord God, as we pray, as you have taught us, Lord God, as, it, as your kingdom is in heaven, Lord God, let it come on earth, Father. And today as I speak to your people, Lord God, let your Holy Spirit speak through me, Lord God, and let your divine manifestation take place and touch each and every heart and each and every soul today. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, let the people of God say amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and give the Lord a wave offering this morning. Hallelujah. We worship you. We welcome the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The mighty move of God in this place. Hallelujah. How many of you believe and know, hallelujah, that there has been a shift in the atmosphere? Hallelujah. I tell you, people of God, more than ever before, let me tell you, the enemy is so mad because he knows and recognizes how defeated he is. Amen? Because day by day, hallelujah, line upon line, precept upon precept, step by step, hallelujah, the people of God are breaking through. The people of God are breaking free. Amen? The people of God are recognizing and standing in their authority in God. Amen? Hallelujah. And fighting against the forces, hallelujah, of darkness. Amen? They're beginning, yes, give the Lord a hand clap. They're beginning to realize that the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Amen? People of God are standing strong, putting on the whole armor of God and recognizing, hallelujah, that we're no longer, hallelujah, fighting a physical battle, amen. It's a spiritual battle, hallelujah, that we, hallelujah, are involved with, amen, hallelujah. But thank God, hallelujah, the kingdom that we're a part of has a king. Hallelujah, that rules and reigns, that has ordained every single power, every power that is, was ordained by God. Amen, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. And so, he still got power, he yes. still got victory over the enemy. Yes. Amen, yes. hallelujah. He made an open shame, hallelujah, of, of him. Amen, yes. and the enemy is reminded of that every time. Us people of God, praise God, worship him, hallelujah. Give him honor. Live a life of living sacrifice unto him. Amen. That reminds the enemy hey, that, hey, hallelujah, you have no authority. You have no rule. Amen. And the kingdom of God, hallelujah, rules and reigns. And every kingdom, devil, that you think that you're a part of and you think that you own, in the mighty name of Jesus, every kingdom, Hallelujah is gradually becoming a part of the kingdom of God. Amen. It is because us kingdom citizens are realizing now that it's not just from being in the church singing and praising and worshiping. Amen. The Bible encourages us to be well-rounded. Amen. For our soul to prosper. Amen. Hallelujah for our bodies, our lives, everything about us to prosper. The psalm says, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that you shall be like a tree planted, hallelujah, by the rivers of waters, yes, that bears fruit in its season, amen, and to us that worship the Lord, we shall flourish like the trees of Lebanon, and you can imagine those cedar trees, hallelujah, where I grew up in Jamaica, my, uh, hallelujah, right in our yard, we had a cedar tree, hallelujah, that my grandmother, hallelujah, she born Hallelujah. And seeing that tree in the yard, all of us grew up, her children, 
grandchildren, great-grandchildren, all of us now, amen, grow up and see that cedar tree. And I can tell you, people of God, hurricane come. Hallelujah. Storm came. Hallelujah. I don't know if you remember the storm Gilbert. Hallelujah. Several years ago. Amen. It yes. man it yes. mashed up most of the oh. Caribbean and Jamaica. Amen. But I can tell you that cedar tree stood tall. Amen. That cedar tree. Yes. Hallelujah. Stood the test of time. Hallelujah. The only time that cedar tree got came down, hallelujah, was when they took that power saw, amen, to take the cedar tree yes. down. And so if you can imagine us, hallelujah, flourishing like those cedar trees, amen, hallelujah, flourishing, hallelujah, that means we are strong, we are prosperous, our leaves will never wither, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, our joy, hallelujah, we shall sing, hallelujah, joyously unto the Lord, hallelujah, we shall not be depressed, hallelujah, Glory be to God and downtrodden or overrun and overworked by the enemy in any way. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has given us the victory. Amen. And when all else fails, hallelujah, and you feel like you're slipping the flesh, hallelujah, for a moment and you take on the cares of this world, you ought to remind yourself, hallelujah, that the Lord said, hallelujah, to take his yoke upon yes. you because his yoke is easy yes. amen and his burning light and you we ought to remind ourselves that greater is he that is within us than he who is in the world yes. people of god hallelujah saints of god who is here who is listening amen who is watching i want to encourage you hallelujah that power that it is within you, it is the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, I sir. want to encourage you that the Holy Ghost yes. is not just in you for you to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. For you to live a good life and do good deeds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That spirit of the Lord has to be activated. The power has to be activated. The gifts. Hallelujah. That he has placed that the Lord has ordained for you. Amen. Yes. It has to be stored up. It's time, hallelujah, to press for more. Amen. Yes. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's time to have that manifestation of praying in tongues, which is for every believer. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want it as you ask, the Lord shall give it. Hallelujah. Unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. That is what the Holy Spirit yes. is there for. To lift up a standard against the enemy. Every time the enemy comes in like a flood. Amen. It is not you and you alone. For the Lord said to stand still and see, hallelujah, my salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord God said the battle is not yours. It is the Lord. Amen. Amen. So it's time to activate, hallelujah, and be in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost power move upon you and through you. Amen. Hallelujah. And live the life to be the God ordained you. Hallelujah. That he has sanctified and sanctioned for you. Amen. Amen. The beginning of time. If you believe that this morning, shout hallelujah and just give the Lord a wave offering. Yes, hallelujah. Bless, Bless the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory be to God. In this month, hallelujah, we are still on the most amazing topic that demonstrate the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that topic is the healing and deliverance amen hallelujah the jesus said hallelujah from his word it says hallelujah and when you cast out demons the kingdom of god hallelujah has come amen, amen. hallelujah how many of you believe that the kingdom of god is here hallelujah yes. we have cast out demons out of ourselves we as we have cast out demons amen out of others amen hallelujah amen. who live a life that is set free amen hallelujah we have seen hallelujah demons hallelujah manifested over and over hallelujah but every time hallelujah that they manifest they continue to be defeated in the mighty name yes. of jesus we have seen hallelujah principalities fall amen so we're not just talking a word just for talking sake amen hallelujah we are here as true witnesses as to the power of god in its entirety amen not not halfway or, or seeing hallelujah 
in the mighty name of Jesus or seeing it from a little um hallelujah microscope no yeah. amen hallelujah we are seeing it hallelujah oh. in all its glory and in all its fullness amen we talk about hallelujah dead being raised hallelujah glory be to the name of the lord not only dead raised hallelujah i can testify that by the power of god hallelujah a few years ago my mother and i was in the hospital i saw hallelujah her eyes rolling hallelujah i saw her turning purple and blue amen all at the same time amen and the only thing hallelujah i can do hallelujah glory be to the name of the lord i just lift my head up and even as i lifted my head up hallelujah to my lord as my knees hallelujah buckled the word that came out of my mouth was jesus hallelujah yes and i tell you when jesus came out of my mouth hallelujah jesus didn't even come out of my mouth powerfully amen it was just a faint jesus hallelujah that i could have gotten out but i tell you glory be to the name of the lord i was slain in the spirit hallelujah that same exact moment hallelujah i did not the manifestation of, of speaking in tongues hallelujah at that time amen hallelujah but i know the lord hallelujah moved hallelujah the lord moved upon me and even as i did that then when i got back up hallelujah i started to pray and worship the lord that same yes. evening hallelujah she was released hallelujah from the hospital yes. glory be to the name of the lord and hallelujah. then hallelujah we talk about dead things amen things that are dead and dormant in your life amen glory be to the name of the lord we have seen it resurrected the power to write the power to preach amen the power to shake the devil off and not only shake him off but stop okay, upon yeah. him hallelujah, hallelujah for him to be under yeah. our feet yes. amen and live victorious yes. amen and show the world that hey i'm liberated yes. through yeah. christ jesus amen yeah. hallelujah we have seen it over and over hallelujah where the lord lifted one up hallelujah from the mary clay hallelujah the word of god says that he lifted up from he lifted us up from the ash heap hallelujah and caused us to inherit a seat of honor amen hallelujah sitting with princes hallelujah yes. hallelujah and kings glory be to the name of the lord amen hallelujah this yes, to tell lord. you people of god hallelujah it's no time hallelujah for you to be sitting down for you to be hallelujah stressed out hallelujah and for you to have lack of self esteem and self-control but it's time for you to surrender all to jesus hallelujah hallelujah that means surrender all surrender all of your thinking amen surrender all of your actions amen surrender your house over god's sake amen let it not be just one or two of you in the household that is saved but everyone hallelujah if you make a conscious decision in your household to worship god and to live for him yeah. my god people of god you have to have everyone else in your household come in that order hallelujah for the lord to move hallelujah so many times as we're pressing in the lord amen you see people of god pressing in the lord amen but you see their family members hallelujah this one drink this one smoke this one hallelujah getting pregnant this one cannot find a job this one hallelujah is going out of their mind hallelujah this one is living in homosexuality amen hallelujah but the mother or the father amen is going to church amen hallelujah lifting up the name of the lord and seem to be living good but you wonder what happened amen what happened from the inception and what caused that amen hallelujah it is because we don't give our all amen hallelujah and the word of god says that is why healing and deliverance is so important amen people of god even when we get salvation healing and deliverance has to come along with that amen, amen. hallelujah we have to put on the whole armor of god amen we can't hallelujah 
as Christian people of God, amen, we're standing up and walking in church daily, hallelujah, and in the community all sanctified, yes. amen, because Jesus, hallelujah, is our Lord now, yes. and we're a new creature, hallelujah, amen, but amen. what about those generational curses, amen? What about that strain of cancer, hallelujah, that was in your great-grandmother, your great-grand-aunt, amen, your grandmother, your mother, hallelujah, and it is coming at you. And yet, sir, you have two daughters there, and you never, hallelujah, renounce that demon. Yes. Hallelujah, you never renounce that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. You never lay hands on your daughter and say, I bind that cancer in the name of Jesus, and I command it to come out of my family. I command it to come out of my generation and all of its roots and branches shall yes. come out. It shall not take root. Hallelujah. And my daughter, hallelujah, it ends here in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to stand and accept that cancer for myself. Cancer, you are defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for us, hallelujah, people of God, to get up and stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not going to get deliverance just sitting down. No. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to. Hallelujah. Work. Amen. Faith without works is dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So when we bind, hallelujah, that spirit, when we attack it in the realm of the spirit, then we have to use the wisdom of the yes. Lord to eat healthy. Amen. To research. Amen. Hallelujah. Not what man say, but do what God says. In the mighty name of Jesus. And then you, hallelujah, was locked up. All the uncles, all the uncles in the family locked up. All of the male child in the family, the male uh, lives in jail. Amen. But yet, sir, you have a grandson. Amen. Hallelujah. You have a grandson. You have a son. Or you even have a daughter who is going astray. Amen. And you never lay hands on them and say, devil, in the name of Jesus, I bind you and command you to come out and loose your stronghold off of my family now. Hallelujah. The devil, hallelujah, have us so deceived and sometimes have us caught up in so much religiosity. Amen. Hallelujah. That we fail to recognize these devices. Amen. Hallelujah. People of God, I want to encourage you and open your wisdom. Hallelujah. Open your eyes today. To see, hallelujah, amen, that every time you call on the Lord Jesus for you to be saved, every time you turn your life around, hallelujah, a person turns their life around and call on the Lord to be saved, the first thing that's going to happen, yes, the heaven, hallelujah, rejoice, but the first thing the devil and his demons is going to do, amen, is come and say, yeah, hallelujah, you, you give your life to the Lord, Really? You really think that thing what you was doing, calling, praying in tongues, you really think you was saved? You really think that was tongues you was playing in, that you was praying in? Yeah, well, we can see. And that's when people of God, hallelujah, that's when the enemy comes in like a flood. That's why you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit, people of God. Hallelujah, that it is not you who lift up a standard against the enemy when he comes in. Because you know what, if the enemy... If it is you who is lifting up a standard, then when your daughter's sleeping around, hallelujah, and you professing Christianity, and your daughter is pregnant, amen, hallelujah, you got to cover it up if you're in the flesh, and if it's not the Spirit of the Lord that's lifting up a standard, amen, you got to secretly, hallelujah, hide your daughter or have her, glory be to the name of the Lord, or, or condone, hallelujah, abortion, amen, or you going to do like the people used to do back back in the days, hallelujah. They send the daughter, hallelujah, to the island, amen, to grandmommy and to grand auntie. Or they send the child to the states, amen, to have that baby and then come back and act like nothing is happening. Amen. No. Hallelujah. But when the spirit, hallelujah, of the Lord amen. lift up a standard against the enemy, amen, yes. the enemy and all his roots and branches have to come up. You will be yes. bold enough to stand up, hallelujah, to that child and said, now your body belongs 
to Lord, you made this mistake, amen. You're going to confess, you're going to repent, you're going to turn around, hallelujah, your life, and you're going to do it now as you're on your own. And furthermore, you don't have your own to go on to because I'm responsible for you and there is a seed of righteousness in you. And in the mighty name of Jesus, you're going to stop this and break this now because your child is not going to come into the world rejected and do the same things, hallelujah, that you did. Glory be to the name of the Lord. That's just an example, hallelujah. Yes. People of God, we need, hallelujah, healing and deliverance, amen. Yes. We need to know about the things, the demonic strongholds that plague our families, that plague our generation, amen. Even things that we ourselves open up the doors to, amen. Calling on the name of the Lord and making the Lord God your Savior and singing, hallelujah, on the praise team, hallelujah. Preaching in the pulpit or ushering, yes. hallelujah, or even cleaning the church, amen. That's yes. not good enough, hallelujah, to prevent the enemy from beating up on you, amen. And then, hallelujah, in some cases, because of, hallelujah, the hypocrites, hallelujah, in the churches, amen, because of those religious ones, hallelujah, who don't know how to pray and how to intercede, amen. And for the lack of the mothers not training up the young, yeah. women how they ought to be hallelujah yeah. the spiritual father's not imparting hallelujah the spirituality in the men hallelujah for them to grow up and be men hallelujah to be strong hallelujah men of valor amen because of that they talk about hallelujah you when you fall amen hallelujah mind you you're wrong anyway hallelujah but they too hallelujah the whole system becomes corrupt they talk about you hallelujah and then hatred and malice and everything come in then next thing you know hallelujah you backslide and then what you do you condemn hallelujah the church amen you hate the people of god hallelujah Glory be to the name of the Lord. You don't want to be among Christians and church people because then you say that they're the wicked ones that you can find. Amen. It is because of you. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. You ought to stand, hallelujah, against the enemy. And if you make a decision to stand for the Lord, yes. you got to stand for righteousness in every area, especially as a young and you are a babe in Christ. Amen. Because, hallelujah, and you start compromising and you take an inch, hallelujah, you think it's you taking an inch, but it's not you taking an inch. It is you opening the doors for demonic strongholds to come, hallelujah, into your life. Amen. For the enemy. Glory be to the name of the Lord to implant hatred, the spirit of hatred in you, the spirit of destruction, hallelujah, in you. Yes. But people of God, I come to remind you today, hallelujah, that blessed be, hallelujah, our Lord, hallelujah, the one who comes in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, because he has a name that is above every other name, hallelujah, and every demon of hatred, every hypocrisy, amen. Every sickness and disease, yes. they shall bow yes. to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Don't mind people dying, hallelujah, from sickness. Hallelujah. I believe those people of God, yeah, the sickness may come and try. The word of God still says no weapon that form against me shall prosper. So it doesn't matter how sick you are and you think that loved one die, hallelujah, from sickness. I'm here to encourage you today, hallelujah, that hallelujah, you can crucify, hallelujah, the body, hallelujah, but you can crucify, hallelujah, your spirit. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So the enemy is still, hallelujah, defeated. Glory be to the name of the Lord. For there is nothing that God cannot do. And everything that I ask the Lord to do, amen. Hallelujah. I believe, hallelujah, that he has done it. I don't have to see it manifested, but I'm going to continue to believe. Glory yeah. be to the name of the Lord that he has done it. Glory. Shall glory. Glory Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My scripture passage, hallelujah, comes from Psalms 27 this morning and from John 17. Hallelujah. We're going to, hallelujah, just read from 15 through 21. 
Hallelujah. This is the Lord praying. Glory be to God. Hallelujah for all believers. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, talking about those who believe, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Amen. Amen. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. Hallelujah. That they all may be done, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe thou. Hallelujah has sent me. Yes. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ have already prayed for us to be, hallelujah, for us to be kept from evil. Amen. People of God, we ought to stand on the word yes. of God. Amen. Amen. I come to encourage you this morning, hallelujah, just by saying to you that our intercessor, hallelujah, is on this one. Amen. Yes. I want you to repeat that after me. My intercessor, My intercessor is on this case. On this Hallelujah. Case. The in your intercessor is on that case. Amen. There is nothing, hallelujah, that he cannot do. Amen. Amen. And so this morning as we're talking about being healed and delivered this morning, hallelujah, I take you back, hallelujah, to our studies, picking up from Wednesday. We are talking about being delivered from oppression. Amen. What is oppression? Prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or exercise of authority. Yeah. Amen. Example, hindrances, blockage from progression. But, hallelujah, the word of God says, my Lord told me through his word. Amen. Him being the living word. Hallelujah. He said that the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, amen, yes. and of the joints and the marrows, amen, yes. and is a discerner of the thoughts and intent, hallelujah, of the heart, amen, hallelujah, and so if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, amen, you can use the word of God powerful, Hallelujah, in this way. Yes. Even one thing you can do is that with the spirit, hallelujah, the discerning of spirits. Amen, hallelujah. You can take control of the atmosphere and bind, hallelujah, that spirit, hallelujah, that's working, hallelujah, against you and release the word of the Lord as a sword. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And when we talk about being delivered today, we're talking about being delivered from depression. Amen. What is depression? It is a feeling of severe despondency and dejection. Amen. Example, misery, sadness, unhappiness, on being unfulfilled. Amen. Yeah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. But I say to depression today, hallelujah, that therefore, hallelujah, the very God of peace sanctifies me, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, holy this morning, and you ought to declare it for yourself, yes. amen. And I pray too, hallelujah, that, hallelujah, your whole spirit, hallelujah, and soul and body, hallelujah, be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord and Savior, Jesus yes. Christ. Uh, hallelujah, just go ahead and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The very God of peace sanctifies, hallelujah, me. And he not only sanctified me halfway, he not only sanctified me, hallelujah, for this day or for this minute, amen. He yes. not only, hallelujah, sanctified the atmosphere, he sanctified me wholly, yes, amen. That means, hallelujah, he sanctifies everything. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah in its entirety. Amen. When we talk about depression, we talk about strongholds. Amen. Yes. 
A stronghold is a faulty thinking pattern. Amen. It is based on lies and deception. Wow. Amen. The only person that deals with lies and and, and hallelujah, deception, amen, from the beginning of time, hallelujah, it is the devil, his hallelujah. own self, amen, yes. that slew foot, that son of perdition, yes. that prince of the power of yes. the air, that old serpent and snake and dragon, amen, yes. hallelujah, deception is one of the primary weapons, people of God, of the devil, and you know why, because it is the building blocks for stronghold, amen, if the devil deceive you, amen, which is one of, hallelujah, which is one of the evil intent that deals with the mind. If you are corrupt and deceived in your mind, hallelujah, glory be to the name of the Lord. Only Jesus can save you by his power, hallelujah. And sometimes if you're so gone astray, like Romans 1 and 21 says, the Lord just leave you, hallelujah, and turn you over to a reprobate mind, amen. Hallelujah. You have to be vigilant. Hallelujah. Yes. The devil always comes in with craftiness and schemes. Amen. Yes. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you all, hallelujah, that is here and watching today. Hallelujah. To receive the love of God. Amen. Yes. Receive the truth of God like our Jesus Christ prayed, prayed for. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the book of John. Hallelujah. 5th John 17 15 through 21 yes. receive his love today amen yes. don't let it be too late no. receive his love and not only receive enough of his love open up your heart to receive his love just for you yes. open up your heart to receive that love yes. so you can give hallelujah yes. unto others because that is the only love that covers hallelujah a multitude yes. of sin yes. And no matter who you are, hallelujah, you call yourself evangelist, pastor, teacher, prophet, apostle, intercession, whatever you, whatever it is, amen. And God bless you all, amen. But if you don't have the love of Christ, hallelujah, you will never be concerned, hallelujah, about loving, hallelujah, people. And if you don't love people, amen, you cannot cover their sin. And I'm not mean covering sins as though it's a cover up, amen. I mean uh, pulling them out of that sin and washing it, hallelujah, away, amen. Hallelujah, by the word of God, amen. In other words, you will never go out and see someone walking on the side of the street with short clothes on, showing all of their body part, amen, and he not fix. You will never think twice to say, let me give Jesus to this person. You will never love them, hallelujah, as a child of God. In instead, you will skin up your face and walk straight past them, hallelujah, every day. Certain place you wouldn't go. Certain place you're going to say, I ain't going, that ain't, that I ain't on that run, hallelujah. That ain't have nothing to do with me. You ain't gonna go certain places, hallelujah. Evangelizing and preaching and teaching, hallelujah. Especially if it's in the slums, amen. Hallelujah. The only place you would want to go is where you will be in the limelight. Amen. Preaching to another pastor's congregation. Amen. Or preaching to other pastor's congregation in a in a region. Amen. Hallelujah. Who have already been pastor, who already know the word of God. Amen. Who somebody was there last week. Amen. To pray for them and lead them in deliverance. And they gave their life again to the Lord last week. And they gave their life again to the Lord last night and they repented of their sins and now here you come today telling them the same thing amen glory be to the name of the lord when people right out there in the neighborhood amen hallelujah they need jesus amen they need to be reached they need hallelujah for some hallelujah ministers and those who like limelight to come down from the pulpit and walk through hallelujah without armor bearers hallelujah, hallelujah. amen without being chauffeured amen and have the power to preach and teach hallelujah and take them up from out of where they are in the mighty name of jesus so you need to receive the love hallelujah and the truth amen glory be to the name of the lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not perish because of deception. 
Hallelujah, people of God. Hallelujah, only what you do for Christ shall last. Don't limit yourself, people of God. It doesn't matter whether you're a fivefold or you're a believer with gifts that the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, has given you. Do not be deceived, amen. God is not mocking what you sow, you shall reap. If you sow enmity, hallelujah, towards the children of God and those who need help, hallelujah, then the same thing, hallelujah, will happen to you, amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. When we talk about deliverance, we're also talking about deliverance from demonization. Amen? And demonization is when, hallelujah, evil spirits, hallelujah, come into your life. Amen? And there is a presence of evil. <clears throat> Amen? In your life. Hallelujah. You wonder why, hallelujah, you can't get a job. You're wondering why, hallelujah, there's pain in your foot. You go to the doctor and you, you can't, they can't figure out what it is. Hallelujah. You wonder why you keep falling. You wonder why you keep getting in an accident. Amen. Hallelujah. You wonder why for some reason you can't get along with your spouse or your children. Amen. Because there is a presence of evil. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But today I come to command, hallelujah, every demon, hallelujah, to lose your stronghold and to flee, hallelujah, from the people of God, to flee from out of their minds, hallelujah, free from out of their, flee from out of their hearts today, flee from out of their home, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, even as we use the word of the Lord as a sword, hallelujah, we also release the fire of the Lord, hallelujah, into every home, yes. the home of everyone who is listening, who is here today and watching for that consuming fire of the Lord to burn up every presence of evil and release the name of Jesus that is above every other name for those demons to bow, hallelujah, and to be cast into the pits of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout amen, hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As people of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Our dead in sins. Hallelujah. We were dead in sins. Amen. And the uncircumcision of our flesh. Which our Lord quickened. Hallelujah. Together with him. Amen. Having forgiven us all our trespasses. Amen. As people of God. Amen. And you who are saved. Hallelujah. Because if you're listening or watching and you're not saved, you're going to be saved. Hallelujah. Today, we declare salvation upon you. Glory be to the name of the Lord today. And once you receive salvation, the word of God says, hallelujah, that Jesus, amen, I'll read it again, hallelujah, you are dead to your sin, hallelujah, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, amen, because the Lord quickened it together, amen, having forgiven us all of our trespasses, amen. He blotted out the handwriting of ordinances, amen. That was against us, amen. Somebody, I got to tell you that once you are in Christ, you are a new creature, amen. You ain't going back, hallelujah. It doesn't matter what the devil trying to do to you, amen, hallelujah. You will put up your shield of faith and you will fight, hallelujah, you will fight in the realm of the spirit. You will use the whole armor of God. Amen. And you are going to press forward. Amen. For there is no looking back for you. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The Lord, hallelujah, have already done it for you. And if he declared victory over you, hallelujah, which he has today. And he says that all of your sin has been forgiven. Hallelujah. Then by the grace of God and his mighty power, hallelujah no one has the right and the authority or the audacity amen hallelujah to condemn you of sins hallelujah of the past that the lord has forgiven you hallelujah that the lord has forgiven you from hallelujah so you lift your head up in the mighty name of Jesus, they may not want you, hallelujah, to sing, hallelujah, on the praise team anymore. They may not 
God wants you to pray, hallelujah, in the congregation. Pray in front of the congregation anymore, hallelujah. They may not want you to be on the usher board, hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody today, hallelujah. But you lift your head up huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. For the word of God says, greater is he that is within you than he who is in the world. And if they choose, hallelujah, to walk in the flesh uh, and reject you, hallelujah, and have enmity against you uh, as they do in the world, hallelujah. Well, I got news for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you are, hallelujah, washed. Uh, you are saved and sanctified. Uh, the Lord Jesus have already cleansed you uh, and forgiven you of all your sins. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, all of them have been blotted out. And you are a new creature in Christ. Lift your head up. Get up over that sofa. Get up out of that house. Hallelujah. You go there. Hallelujah. And you pray. And you worship the Lord. Hallelujah. In the midst of them. Hallelujah. And just how they didn't receive the apostles because the Lord sanctified and sent them. You have been, hallelujah, sanctified by the Lord. You shake off your feet, hallelujah. You dust off your feet there and you move on to some place else, hallelujah, where you can be edified, where you, hallelujah, can rise up in the things of God, hallelujah, and where you can be blessed and released in a proper covering, hallelujah, to lift up the people of God and to demonstrate the gift, hallelujah, that the, and the power, hallelujah, that the Lord have placed uh, within you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, don't look back, hallelujah, people of God. This is not the time to look back. You move forward, you press, hallelujah, forward because only what you do for Christ will last. This is not the time to be in the flesh. Hallelujah. You go forward. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory be to the amen. name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord blotted out the handwriting and the ordin of the ordinances that was against you, which was contrary, hallelujah, to us, amen, to me and to you, I'm talking to myself too, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, amen, hallelujah. It is the preaching, hallelujah, of the cross, amen, that is the power unto salvation, amen. So you, hallelujah, glory be to the name of the Lord, the Lord God of already done it hallelujah for you people of god hallelujah and having spoiled principalities and powers amen he made a show of them openly hallelujah triumphant over them hallelujah i want to remind you people of god glory be to the name of the lord the lord god of already triumphed every evil hallelujah every demonic course and recourse that the enemy throw at you amen hallelujah there is nothing new under the sun somebody else been through it hallelujah hallelujah so it was somebody else time yesterday don't mind it being your time today hallelujah but our god and savior jesus christ huh? hallelujah he have already destroyed all of the principalities the power every controlling stronghold every demon in the mighty name of jesus he have already made an open shame hallelujah over them I want to encourage you this morning, uh, every time, hallelujah, you feel the press, uh, every time you feel oppressed, uh, every time there is a demonic stronghold that hinder and prevent, hallelujah, glory be to the name of the Lord, and hold you back, hallelujah, from launching out, hallelujah, where you ought to be, hallelujah, you stand up, hallelujah, boldly, hallelujah, and put on the whole armor of God, and you remind Jesus Christ. Oh, I think you don't know who he is. I think you are forgetting, devil. Hallelujah. You trying to cause me to go insane. I think you are the insane one. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Hallelujah. Wait, wait. Hold up. Just wait a minute now. You don't know who my Lord is. Hey, hallelujah. You don't. I, th I, hold I think you don't know who my Lord is. Well, let me remind you, devil. Hallelujah. He has the name that's given above You think you know that you bow already, hallelujah. But I'm gonna remind you to bow, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. 
us. You got to bow and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Because you ain't going to get the best of me. Hallelujah. The Lord God have already spoiled every principality, every power, everything that you think. Hallelujah. You shall throw at me in the mighty name of Jesus. He have already destroyed it. Hallelujah. In case you don't know, let me just remind you that Jesus, he is my Lord. And in case you never bow and confess that he is Lord, well, you're going to bow and confess that he is Lord now because guess what? When you see that you are defeated, when you see that you can't get the best of me to beat up my life and my family, hallelujah, then you will know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Then you will have to admit, hallelujah, that the Lord got this one. This one is marked with a mark of Christ. This one, hallelujah, is washed in the blood, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord after all. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. People of God, I just want to encourage you this morning. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I leave you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord as I leave. Hallelujah. This morning. Hallelujah. I'm going to recite and I want you to recite after me. Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Hallelujah. What of the Lord. Jesus said unto him. And what did Jesus say unto him? Yeah. Jesus said, away from me, Satan. For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Yeah. People of God, I come to encourage you today to worship the Lord your God. To worship Jesus. The name that is above every other name. He is the only one who is worthy to be yeah. praised. He is the only one who is worthy to be worshipped. If you take your eyes off him in this season, you will fail. If you take your eyes off him, if you allow your faith to be wavering, hallelujah, in this season, then the enemy will come in like a flood. But it will be the spirit of the Lord that is lifting up a standard. It will be your flesh, hallelujah. Do not be deceived by the enemy, hallelujah. Stay connected to our Lord, hallelujah. And say that Jesus Christ today, hallelujah, because it is only in him. Glory be to the name of the Lord. We live and move and have our being. Hallelujah. Just before I go, hallelujah. I want to leave with you. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me two passages to prophetically declare. Hallelujah. I know that you have heard it many times before, but I want to tell you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Never let go of Jesus. Hallelujah. Never, hallelujah, disconnect yourself from Christ. Hallelujah. It is only in him that you shall have your sustenance. Yeah. And so I want to declare over you today prophetically. Hallelujah. And as I declare this, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, I activate faith. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. I thank you now, Lord, for the measure of faith. Hallelujah. That you yes. have given to those who are here today, those who are watching, those who are listening. Lord God, I thank you for the faith that you have released over them. I thank you for the faith that is in this atmosphere. I thank you for the breaking in the mighty name of Jesus that is going to take place. I thank you, Lord God, for the unlocking of every door that your people, hallelujah, was knocking on. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, that every enemy is driven out hallelujah. of the way of your people, Lord God. Has your word declared as smoke is driven away. So you shall drive them away in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God is saying, hallelujah, in this prophetic atmosphere, I will restore to you the years the swarming locust has eaten, hallelujah, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter. My great army which I sent among you, you shall eat, hallelujah, in plenty and be satisfied, yeah. hallelujah, and praise the name of the Lord your God.
who has dwelt, dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Hallelujah. I tell you, people of God, if you felt like you have been put to shame, if you, hallelujah, are demonized, hallelujah, or oppressed with the spirit of shame, tell that spirit of shame, go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus, because it's a lie from the devil. Hallelujah. The Lord does not put his people to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, says the Lord. Hallelujah. And that I am the Lord your God. And there is none else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God declares it again. And Isaiah 41, 10 through 14 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed.